What's going on guys, Ben here, and today we're checking out a Steam Nextfest demo that's currently available at the moment. And not sure about the name, it's called Heat Death, it kind of feels like a bit of a placeholder name. It's Heat Death Survival Train, and it's basically a sci-fi survival build crafting game, and you know, we've been diving into the survival games recently, so I thought we'd have a little look and take a look at this one, because um, definitely unique in terms of how it looks but I'm, I'm curious about the gameplay with this one because obviously if you're being on a train you're then kind of limited in a linear way aren't you of you know you've got to progress along the track so we're gonna see what this is all about like i said you can check this out on steam as well anyway my name's ben like comment subscribe let's jump straight in and um, we've literally just started the game it says i woke up in a lab hooked up to machines and wires not knowing who i am or where i am the lab was silent and empty I stumbled out of the building into a frozen wasteland no life no warmth no hope just snow and rocks. There is a train track. The only thing that seems to lead somewhere. Could it take me to civilization or at least to some answers? I'll follow these train tracks for now. So, we're basically just gonna... I guess that's the facility we just came out of. And... We're just gonna follow these train tracks. There's a... Uh, like a station up there. Your stats, we've got... We've got health, we've got stamina, and then we've got our suit power. Always always like to just check to see, like, can we see ourselves? Can we see our legs and stuff like that? Or are we just like a floating camera? Kind of like it when you can look down and, and see your feet, you know? But a lot of games don't opt for that. I guess it's like extra resources and physics and movement and all that kind of stuff. Animations. Let's have a little look. I mean, first thing off the bat, I mean, we're running this 4K, everything high running well at the moment each city has its own power system you need to activate power generators and batteries and then you can turn the power on you can find all of them inside the control center building okay so um we got our little objectives over there and yeah, that looks like a little like a little train station oh it does say station number 73 it's quite a few of these then so oh we can actually pick these up I don't know what these do. Do we have a... We do have an inventory. Use this plant to craft energy drinks. Okay. We got... A workstation in here. Oh, blueprint. Engine tier. One out of three. Okay, okay. Grab some of these as well. Why not? Uh, should we turn the power on first? Should we just get that... Get that switched on? Yeah, it's running okay at the moment. Flashlight helps you see in the darkness, but it uses your suit's power. Okay. We've got to keep an eye on our power then, haven't we? Control panels. Okay, so we can... It'll be like Starfield. You can... Yeah, you can just interact with it. Clicking on the screen. Quite like that. What's down here? Is that just the outside as well? Yeah. Okay. I think there are going to be enemies. It says, um, it says on the Steam page, the train is our only kind of like proper shelter. And, oh, sorry, no, the train is not your only shelter, but. No, I can't read. It says this train is not only your shelter and vehicle, but also your weapon and ally. So you can actually, yeah, you will face hostile drones, apparently, and we'll be able to, like, put up, like, turrets and stuff on it and things like that. This is probably the, like I said, the very beginning, getting our little train to begin with. Uh, we've got another blueprint here. You can turn that on. Um, okay, so you can only save the game using a body scanner. That's some of the building inside stations and buildings. Okay, not the biggest fan of that, especially in these kind of games where, like, it depends how like if they're like spaced out quite far and it's like you gotta you gotta play a lot to get to your next like um, scanner. It does prevent you just dipping in and out. But if they're nicely spaced out, I, I can't see it being a problem. Managed to fix storage room's door, but it was a hassle. Some wires were fried, and I had to replace them with spare parts. There's some useful stuff. And then that might help us on our journey back. I had to change the key code. And they wrote the new one down below. 5011. Okay. Writ. They wrote. Was my English. Please. Right. 
Okay. Did notice as well when we saved, actually, yeah. You can only save so much. The station will have like an overall power limit. Doesn't say how much power, I don't think, but it's good to know. We have rest here. So can, oh, we can open this. Any drink. Drinks to restore 30% of your stamina. We can keep that there for now. Where's that storage room? Oh, here it is. Five, zero. Oh, I would have thought the, like it would be like a phone pad one. One, one. There we go. <laughs> the other way around. We've got smart material. We've got some cartridges. We'll have a look at those in a second. And we've got some material. Okay. So... Smart material can be casted into different forms, thus very useful for advanced prints. Cartridge, you can use cartridges to print stickers on your train. Less useful. <laughs> and strong and rigid material that can be used in printing structural components. Okay, and we do actually have like a weight limit as well. Like an inventory kind of density limit there. Which is good to know. So, we didn't go in this building, did we? Should we have a little look? These are like... Are they like um, solar panels? This is Habitat 2. And I definitely went around the wrong way. Quite cool. I, I like the sci-fi vibe um, so far. It's it's kind of mixing frigid and long dark. But then with like the sci-fi kind of thing. Just because just it's the snow, you know. I think I like snow survival has been quite popular. Just because of the, um, I guess, the easier... Harsh elements to deal with. It's a small battery. Portable battery that contains 50 power. Okay, so we've got energy does our does our stamina. And we've got small battery does our suit. Okay. And the and those little plants that we picked up can make more of those. You can actually like save some power and stuff like that. So maybe you'll be able to have like little um uh little Bases that you can kind of stop off at and stuff. Biogen. Use the biogen to craft energy drinks, foods, and first aid kits. And these are... These are like the rooms. Lead, Mia, Eva, and Ali. Is it a requirement that everyone has a free lead name? So... Okay, so it tells you how long it takes to make it. How much power it uses. Materials, and how much shadow breeze. Okay, so we can make... And then you drink, and okay, it'll just like 3D print it. Got Eva in medical, another little battery there. This is going to be useful. As you can see at the bottom, our like um, suit power is going down a little bit. Is that ready now? Oh, we can take that. There we go. What about Mia? What does she have? She has a little message. I think things have been pretty peaceful lately, which is rare in this world. So, so where's everyone gone? Um, not in constant danger of being attacked by drones or other threats. Um, what I've been doing for the past few months is patrolling the lakeside for any signs of danger and then returning back to the outpost. I haven't been too impatient. I should be thankful for what I have. Okay. I'm a ranger after all. I live the adventure for the combat for the thrill. So kind of environmental storytelling through the uh, note pads and messages left over and everything as well. Some tech scrap. Okay. Quite cool though. I like the like the curved habitat, like the skylight coming kind of thing. And Ali the researcher. Oh, he has a blueprint as well. And another engine blueprint. So we've unlocked the engine blueprint now. Oh, I didn't save the game, did I? Wants me to do that. And then this storage is completely empty apart from that. Take that smart material. Let's go back then. I started exploring before. I actually, I, I thought I did step in there. The body scan, I think. Let's do it.
Okay. We're all saved. Our objective now is find train. Oh, can I go down the stairs? There we go. So the train's probably in the station. Uh, should we pick up some of these just in case we need more? I'm not going to drink the energy drink I made yet. But can't hurt to have some of these just in case. And this is the other habitat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this a city. I'd call it like a little little village. Little outpost. Okay, and we've got Lena, Raj, Sarah, and Kai. Oh, so Lena and Sarah are the only people with four letters in their names. Interesting. Another battery. Everyone's just gone though, like it seems. Like no one no one's here anymore. We've got another message. Tomorrow's the day we're leaving this place for good. That, that is why. Uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park. We've no idea what's out there and what threats we'll face. Especially going to be tough for me and Mia. We're the ones who have to watch over others. That will be able to sleep, will I? Okay. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. I think we normally say Sarah with a H on the end. Never know if that's Sarah as well or if that's Sarah. But, yeah. Kai. Got another blueprint for a dynamo. Okay. So you kind of just pick up blueprints and then we'll be able to um, kind of craft these things, I guess. I guess it's going to show us that in a little bit. But okay. We've picked this clean. It's all good. Lose that. And we don't have, like, any weapons or anything. There's no... Uh, nothing we can equip or shoot or anything. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. We can climb the... Oh! Oh, okay. It just teleports you up. Let me just jump over here. There we go. Oh, there is something up there. Some materials. My inventory is getting full. Oh, there is a... There's like a drone there? You can right-click to, 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 like, uh, zoom in. I would say, first of all, there's no trees. That might be part of the, like, the design. Like, this rocky, snowy outcrop. Very little vegetation. I said, presuming this is, uh, like an alien planet that we're on. Like, little habitats and stuff like that. Seems like we've, like, settled here. There is another little building here. Another workstation. This is where, like, the researchers and stuff would have sat. Another dynamo. Guess we can have a little peek while he's not here. A scrapper. Scrapper is a friendly drone that finds scraps around the map and turns them into materials. If you follow them, you might discover new places or find more materials. Okay. So was he, was he, how, or he just goes and dumps stuff back in here. We're actually full. Um, oh, there's two more buildings. What we'll do is we'll go in here first because I feel like uh, I've got a feeling we're... If we're too full anyway, there's no point running all the way over there and then we've got nowhere to, like, put the loot, you know? So let's, uh, let's have a little look. Okay, train. This is your train right now. It's just a few empty wagons. We'll be able to build whatever you need on it. And, okay, we've got the engine already. We can tap to see our resources and inventory. Wants us to find another blueprint. Oh, have I broken it? Because I've... Oh, can you charge, use small batteries in the charger? Okay. All right, let's see. Well, let's press and hold Q. And see if we can just build the engine and if that... Oh. We need an engine component. Um, unlock ceiling. Ah, you can have some light come in. That's cool. Yeah, the weather's alright, isn't it? it? Doesn't seem to be like a cold mechanism or anything like like a temperature thing we need to worry about. Um. Okay, we can make some stuff here. Maybe. 
I just want to like build some of this just so we can use some of it, if that makes sense, because I can't carry stuff. Solar panel, tier one. So it's kind of just unlocking stuff as we go. Um, oh, there's the engine. Another solar panel. I guess for those that don't explore, there's free blueprints in here that you can just you can just go and make like, like like get your engine blueprint straight away. So can build the engine. And we can only we can only build it on these like carriages. Where would an engine go? On a train. I'm not really I'm not a massive train guy. I'm thinking well, we can't we can move things. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put it here for now. You can craft resources and batteries. Okay. Got more, more stuff there as well. Oh, and we can pick these up now. To build an engine screen. So if we was it Q. Oh, it tells you what it needs as well and how much how, how many we've got. So. Should we put the engine screen just like in front of the engine? The train has a limited amount of power. To monitor it, you should build a power control panel. And I'm guessing, oh, okay, we need a screen and a smart material. So we have a smart material there. And we can make another screen. Maybe just in case. Make another smart material. Since we do have some more stuff we can pick up. And there's actually a smart material there. And there. Plenty of stuff to get started. We can save our game there as well. Is there some other stuff here? Wasn't there that I didn't pick up? I don't know if I need the stickers, but we'll take it. Oh, we'll take it. We'll we'll like just hoard everything. Build. Oh, we still need the screen. Hoping I can. Can I put stuff? Yeah, it seems like I can store stuff. So let's just store. 10 materials in there. I will remember to pick that up, hopefully. There we go. And then power screen. Should we put that like... Put that next to it for now. Okay, explore the world. Congratulations, now you have a functional train. Explore the frozen world and unlock more modules, such as walls and power generators. Okay. So we can actually... We can, we can drive this right now, it seems. We can turn the lights on and off. I mean, turn the engine on or off. Okay. Let's, um... Let's make two more of these, just because we can condense the materials down. And then... Did I pick everything up over here? Not quite. Not quite. That, that'll be fine. I don't know if there's any more, like notes or things like that but i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm i'm intrigued by this at the moment i'm i'm quite liking this but like i said my, my thing is going to be how how do we do this when we're um like i guess we just stop along the way and stop off when things are when we see interesting things because it says just go to the second station um, what we'll do is pick that up, pick that up. Oh, wow. Oh, they're heavy. I don't think... Oh, the materials are 12 kilograms. How much is a small material? Oh, they're 2 kilograms. Oh, so you don't save weight. You don't save weight by con condensing them into uh, anything else. Should we drop some... Shadow Breeze, maybe. We've got some energy drinks. This is this is where I regret this, but... Oh, they're so full. Let's go have a little look. It's a bit more... You feel a bit more resistance when you're walking on the snow. For sure. Like, not like an inertia, like in Tarkov or something, but you... I think they just modify the, the, or it feels like that at least, modifies the run speed a little bit. A little bit more resistant. Maybe that's in my head. I'm just deep role playing right now. 
Okay. So there's two more little huts here. Uh, this is what he was picking up, I think. But this, this is just scrap for him, isn't it? Okay. Let's look at the houses quickly. So this is just two more workstations. There is a message here. Constant daylight is torture. Oh, so they can simulate their own day-night cycle by darkening the windows, but... Okay, yeah, we're living on a frozen planet, stuck on the side that's always facing the glint. We're surrounded by ice and snow, and we're exposed to the glint's constant light. We're freezing, and our eyes are burning at the same time. Interesting. That's actually a cool premise. It, isn't Iceland like this during, like, the summer months? Like, around about now? Like, doesn't Iceland have, like, all day June or something like that? Like, it's, like, really, uh... And then, conversely, in December, it's, like, dark. The whole, like, like, there's no sun. Okay, there's nothing, nothing else in here. Just a little item. Yeah, there's no real, like, scanner or, like, anything like, like that in, in terms of things. And like I said, I don't even know if we can even build weapons. It might be that we just rely on the train at, at some point. Because the, the screenshot on Steam shows, like, you know, they've got solar panels, they've got like, they've got actual walls and roof, like for their, like, train and everything, and you've got like turrets and stuff on it. So I think you'll probably be able to unlock additional carriages, and then build those carriages to be like your crafting spaces and all that kind of stuff. Probably have like a storage chest carriage and stuff like that, so I can hoard all my inventory and things like that. Um... Because like I said, it, it seems like build structure is going to be where we um, build the walls, but we just haven't got the blueprint for that yet. So let's let's uh, let's turn it on. Let's see. Let's get this uh, train going. So the engine's on. Or we can hear the hum. Okay. And I guess. Oh. Okay. So we got throttle one. Let me see our power's actually going down. I've got all the lights off already, so that's fine. Turn the throttle up. Oh, we can go throttle two. How high, fast can we take this? Oh, three. Three is as fast as we can go. And we can go... 90, 94, 95. What is this? Would this be kilometers an hour? Probably. I don't, this isn't 94 miles an hour. I don't even know if this is kilometers an hour. Probably not. Probably just 95. But it's just velocity. Um, and we do have mass as well. So I guess the heavier the train is, the slower it'll be as well. The lighter the train is, the faster we can move around. Power is dropping at 310 per minute. 210 per minute. Okay. Oh, storm and weather forecast. A storm is forming. Temperature will drop significantly. During storms, it's better to be indoors. Also, you can check the forecast. Okay, so there is a, there is a, like, a temperature system then. We just don't, it's not like a, one we have to worry about, though, all the time. It's like just a, during a weather event, it seems. And then 110. So, okay, so every level of velocity is an extra 100 in terms of power. Um, I think we will get into the station in under a minute. Oh, I don't know, this is making me nervous now. Yeah, maybe slower is better. I guess it's like when you're like on the motorway, if you're like speeding or doing doing higher higher speeds, you're gonna go through your uh, your petrol quicker than you will if you uh, drive slower. Better fuel economy. Okay. Let's slow this down as we go into the station. I don't know if I can brake. Soda panel generates power. Okay, so maybe that's. Uh, that's how we keep the power up while we're on the train. Uh, note that the storm stops solar panels from generating power. Okay, so in the storm at the moment, we can't... Um, uh, one sec, how do I, do I... Press that? Stop? Okay. Okay, and we can turn the engine off. Save some power. And it is regening. Okay, so the power will regen while it's in a train station. That's cool. We can kind of see... We've got the storm out here. Oh. And we have a little cloud warning, but I couldn't see it affecting anything huge there, but we'll shut that. We'll shut that up. 
bit cosy actually now. Yeah, current. Oh, it tells you the weather as well. Storm ends in two minutes as well, so that's good. You get some information about that. And we've unlocked the solar panel because we'd already collected two at the previous station, so that was our third blueprint. Should we save here. Pop that, that in. There we go. And I guess it. An icicle. <laughs> a blueprint for an icicle. Um. Oh, we. Oh, look, we can build. Okay. Oh, this is fun. We, we might have a little a little build moment. Let's um. We need solar plates and mechanical parts. Okay. Oh, so there is solar plates there, but I'm... okay. Let's let's get the fabricators because I think I saw they they make the mechanical parts, don't they? There we go. There we go. Let's have them making that. That should free up inventory space so that I can pick these up. We, well, we haven't used any batteries yet, but we can do that. We've got some materials, but we're full. Full loads of materials here. Which I think is what we need for the for the building. So if we you build structure. We can just have like a wall. Oh, they do have durability and armor thickness. So windows have less durability. A little bit like Icarus with that then. And fences have less durability as well. And customize it. We got ceiling. But I love this. Like Palwell didn't launch with fences and it was so frustrating. <laughs> These guys have fences. Just saying. Just saying. I love Palwell, but still. <laughs> I was really uh really cannot appreciate fences more in a in a crafting kind of building game. Especially when you want to like give stuff like pretty kind of looks and stuff like that. Um, where did I just close out of that? There we go. Okay, it's, we want to remember to like use Q and then, because if you do Q and E, you kind of cycle down as well. So if you double tap Q, you start like cycling through everything. Um, so we've got small door, door. So we kind of got like double, double door, small door as well. Stairs as well. So you can have like, uh, like a top and bottom kind of carriage. Choose floor tiles. Also gives durability. No, nothing about weight, which is interesting because we did see the mass as being like something on the thing. I think what we'll do. I've got a little idea here. Okay, walls and windows, white and a dark side. We've got a little arrow pointing. Make sure the arrow points outside. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? We have a little uh, a little idea here. I saw there was a curved window option as well. What I might do? I might just move that back there for a sec. Nice little viewing platform, right? So we're gonna the window corner. The the building is actually oh, it's just as well. That's nice. The building's actually quite nice. We could have this as our carriage, and then what I'm thinking, just use the fences, because we can. You with me? Like a little a little viewing deck? Oh, I don't know how that would work with that curved one, actually. Would we just have a curved thing here? Oh, we're low on materials. Let's uh, take these, take these. This is why the game has given us so many materials, because you will start using them. Oh. A little fence here. Oh, and not enough soup. Oh, it prints from our suit. Okay, so we need to use the small battery. Give us 50 power, 100 power. Okay. Right, so to build, you actually need the suit. This is actually, the fact, this is quite like underappreciated, right? The fact they have half and curved options is really good. Really good. If someone uh, that like likes to, 
that like I'll get an idea and I'll be like, right, I want to build something in a particular way. Having like half options and like half wall options and stuff like that is really cool. Because I think what we'll be able to do is I think this is going to work. We're going to have our little half wall facing out like that. And we're going to have this might look absolutely awful but <laughs> but the thing is we have a small door keep pressing Q small door here I think the I think the curve is a bit too much isn't it I don't know what to do with this one I mean it's good we've got a door there and I guess we'll have a like a proper door but this will be like the door to get out onto here and just have a little look and I'm thinking we can put a turret out there right that's like the, the future thinking. If we do half window. Okay, so it might just be that we now just move that forward a little bit. Because obviously I was free building this. I, it will snap if you give it the option to snap. But it doesn't have to snap, if that makes sense. Oh, look at it. It seamlessly actually connects now as well. That's much nicer. And with this one... I, I, I think the curve won't look as nice, will it? Curve won't really work there. So, what we could do, can we, or we can scrap, we can scrap that, and we can then just have a corner. I don't know if that's going to look as nice. I actually didn't see if we got those resources back either. Oh, it doesn't know which one to snap to. Wait, have I faced these around the wrong way? Or are they snapped the right way? Oh, I don't know. This would be the only thing I would say. Is that... There's... It's a little bit of just trying to get it working exactly how we want it. See, then kind of it unaligns itself. The curved ones might be causing an issue more than it actually is needed. It's going to be blocky, unfortunately, for now. But I don't want to spend like the whole episode just building this, you know. Because, yeah, you see that snaps there. Be able to have that. Build. Window. Full window. Like that. And I guess as well we will move that. There we go. And that actually all seems in. So, it's just a case of getting getting a handle on it and then what I was thinking is you can then have the consoles here basically it's actually a cool system um and obviously we can put a roof on and stuff like that we cool thing is you don't need to worry about it all right now and you could just keep it keep it empty but then you can then have like a um like a proper one somehow I think but it seems like there's like it it does have a grid but it doesn't need it to begin with but then these ones are like kind of it's not lined if that makes sense that'd be my only thing that there, there could be some could be a little bit better with the like the implementation of this a bit but you get the idea I mean like I said this is a demo it would be cool to um that working quite nicely because yeah it seems like you can't can you can we free build there's max build distance i don't know what that means we can just rotate and like it'd be nice if it if you could just place it in like millimeters yeah <laughs> kind of thing but i got the idea with that right so anyway the actual thing we do need to build because we haven't been doing that 
is the soda panel, which I'm hoping will mean what's a dynamo. Oh, that's all. That's a manual power power generator. Oh, we can actually turn it. We can just crank it and get some power. Okay. Oh, we need more smart material. Let's get some of that. Maybe I've now just spent all my material on uh, <laughs> on my nice little cabin, which is under construction, work in progress. We are getting quite low again. Let's uh, we can charge our empty batteries. They take thirty seconds. And we need a Mustphelius for canned soup and Shadow Breeze for energy drinks. It's not stormy anymore though. The storm has finished. What I did want to see is, does it tell us when the next storm is coming? Next storm in seven minutes. It does. Okay. Cool. So it's GDS, humanity's last stop. That's a bit, isn't it? This is actually pretty cool. Um, I think. Oh, oh, there we go. Anna Ranger. I think, like I said, you can have um, better kind of building options and like snapping and stuff like that. That can come with time, hopefully. Feedback from people playing it, stuff like that will, uh, you know, the dev can make adjustments like that. But I think what's here is, this is a game I haven't heard of at all. I was just scrolling quite far down Steam Next Fest. Uh, I, I, was, I go quite far down in these and try and look at what's coming up and what things are there. And I almost scrolled over this one because I thought it was kind of like more of a colony sim kind of thing at first, like maybe like a top down view. Um, and then when I looked into it, I was like, oh, it's actually like a survival first person one. I did a message from Lena today. She said the train is on its way and will arrive tomorrow. They'll pick me up around six. So I should be ready to leave by then. I encountered a few scout drones, took them out, but I don't think they've been wandering here all by themselves. We should be careful. So I wonder who controls the drones. Icicle ammo. Oh, that's that blueprint for the icicle. The icicle is a weapon then. Okay, so we do have... We are going to be able to have a weapon, it seems. And we're full. We've got some extra materials there. That's the little buddy there. What I'm really looking forward to is like storage chests. Storage chests and then maybe... We can build these on the train, but I'm guessing that might, it, it might, uh, I don't know. It might not want that to happen just in case like you then never stop. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that is the plan long term. Once you're like up and running, you don't actually need to stop at these other than just to get resources. So I mean, we'll just pop these at the end of the train. You can now customize by building structural modules and adding stickers. Walls, windows, and ceilings keep you warm. Build them on your train to survive. Oh, so when we get caught outside, we then have a space to stay safe, basically. That is like the only issue, isn't it, really? Is that it doesn't quite snap for me. I don't know if that still counts as like an enclosed room. Or if I just continue with the window, maybe. Just continue. Continue the window. Wait, why is that now? You know what I mean? I placed the other one there. So can, I, can I place a mini window? I can. Can I place a big window? Can right? You see what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, it's depending on its rotation. But this one does doesn't have an arrow. Is it lighter when I look inside? Have I built the glass the wrong way around? Can't see. Can't see a massive difference. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over over this. And what we'll do. Is 
is we will we will put another we're gonna put a door I don't have the power power of friendship <laughs> let's pick this up let's put our empty ones in there and what was it Q build ah, I need smart materials smart smart okay what I'm thinking is oh, take that off what I'm thinking is we have half wall Keep it facing that way. It's meant to be white on the outside. Problem is, mine's like definitely gone around the other way, which is a problem. That is a shame. But I feel like the the I feel like they should operate on the same plane, right? Like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be this one is one line in, this one's one line out. That would be my biggest frustration with the building right now because it means that if I want to build what I actually want to build, I am really restricted with that. It, it feels like an unnecessary... I don't think I've ever seen that. It feels like an unnecessary um, restriction. So now I've got to see, did I build... Yeah. See, I don't know how this affects ceilings. That's the problem, right? But it will be like ever so slightly out. And that is a little bit, a little bit annoying. <laughs> I mean, at least it works. It does work, but it does make it a little bit weird. I don't think there's any real downside to me placing it like this like didn't seem like all oh, the outside is armored or anything more so than the other ones or anything so don't know could do with some more materials but i think i think that's as good as we're gonna get we should probably get a move on presumably our, our power will just generate itself now wonder how much the solar panel will give us I think I think it's automatic as well. It is. <laughs> I actually not gonna lie, I actually prefer the darker aesthetic anyway. Um you can change colour of things, or you can actually change multiple colours of them as well. Oh you can make it like white on both sides. Oh okay. It's just by default. And stickers, numbers, shapes. Okay, so you can just put some different colored things on. So you can put like the name of your like train and stuff on the side and things like that. There is there is actually a storm now. Storm ends in three minutes. Let's shut that again. Hey. I can see some really cool, um, cool things with this. Like, really, uh, cool builds. Wasn't there another kind of co-op survival, uh, more of a space one? Was it Void Train? I like, grappling hook. It was kind of like Raft in Space or something I heard. Uh, I think a couple of my friends played it. I, um, didn't actually get around to trying that. But that's another one, I guess, that's, like, kind of on a linear road. Should we... Should we go we have a look in there oh, i'm freezing you're losing stamina at a higher rate oh it's so cold okay we can actually drink our stamina we'll drink that to get some of that then so power is already on with this one that's fine that's why we didn't have to turn this one on there is another blueprint there icicle unlocked 
What is the icicle? A light cannon, effective against enemies with medium armor. That looks like a turret, though. Not like something we equip. Looks more like um, a turret we put down. Okay. So the, the suit doesn't protect us that much. We get frozen very quickly. In we go, in we go, in we go. Shut that. Nice and warm. No materials. Means we do need to wait for the storm to finish, but we can really dive back out. We can kind of see. Oh, there's the map. So that's where we are. We're gonna go because that's the lake there. So we're gonna go all the way around, all the way up. And I wonder how big this game is. Like, does this game just end when you get to the end of the line? Because it does say you can actually go backwards. So you can you can go back. It just just reverses on the track, I guess. I guess we don't have to worry about other trains behind us. Seems like we're the last one here. Everyone else is evacuated and they just left us in the research facility. Huh. Me, waiting for the storm to end. Next storm in 15 minutes. Perfect. And away we go. Oh, engine on first. So we're actually gaining 110 per minute. So we can we can actually drive at throttle one. Oh we uh No, we can't earn solar power, I think, while we're driving. Oh no, we can, we can. The rate the rate is closing. Yeah, okay. Solar panel is is working. So should mean we'll actually we should be able to drive a throttle one for an unlimited period of time. This is what I wanted, right? Because you can just go out here. It's quite cool, isn't it? There's another station over there, just over the bridge. That'll be our next one. So yeah, like I said guys, this is this is on Steam right now. As a demo during the Steam Next Fest. Not sure some companies keep their demos up after Steam Next Fest. Some do take them down. It's just like a little teaser. It doesn't seem to be timed, but I imagine there'll be a point where it's like, okay, that's that's enough. You've like reached the, the preview point. But I think it's pretty good so far. I would be down to play this more and see. Like I said, I think there's some little little bits just around like the the lining of like, just how how you align the building pieces and stuff like that. Like, why does it need to be on a separate plane? But that said, it's actually very, very fun. I guess is the thing of is there more like off the edge that we can like go and explore and stuff like that? Because um, you do see these little, you know, it's said to like go follow them and you might find some good stuff. You know, can we looks like that legs frozen? Can we walk on that? You know, Maybe more stuff to go and find, potentially. More little points of interest. We've actually got to stop this before, one sec, because we're... There's a... There's a door. We've got to open that first. We've got to turn the power on for this one, I guess. Yeah, you can actually see we're getting plus 70. Now, because the... Uh, oh, yeah, it just, just moves around and captures the sun. Nice. Or the glint, as they call it. Oh, blinding. Okay, so this one is locked. Okay. Can't actually get in there. We've got Itty, the engineer. Uh oh, 6718. So gives you the code to get in. 6718. Gib. Gib gib gib. Body scanner. Also, we can have a save point on our train. That is good. 6718, right? That was the code. 6718. 
And then we connect to network, we turn on, and we turn on. Quite simple, quite straightforward. And I, I'm guessing we have to run in here. Where's the door? The other side? Yeah, no idea on pricing or anything like that, but this has pleasantly surprised me. This was just going to be something I was going to just check out, maybe feature in my kind of Steam Next Fest kind of uh, demo summary. But after reading it, I was like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna actually do a do a full little episode let's play of this, just like we did for Frigid. Just because um, this is intriguing. I'm actually glad we did. No, it's actually quite fun. Let's get in. Oh, I didn't actually turn the engine off. I probably could have saved up in power there, but it's all good. It's all good. We're inside. Oh, scout drone. These are scout drones. Oh, there are scout drones up ahead. Scout drones don't have the best weapons, but they can spot you from a great distance. You either need to destroy them using weapons on your train or wait for the storm to force them back to the shelter. Right, so they will flee in the storm as well, which means if we've got everything kind of... Um, set up on the train we can probably ride out the storm that's probably what the durability is for is for the storm durability there we go cool i'm always worried i'm gonna crash in to the uh, the wall there that'll be the next thing build a weapon controller which we'll probably move these two over and then we've got a weapon controller power and the movement speed and everything like that but yeah I mean, what we'll actually do is we'll leave it there for this one and let me know. Let me know what you thought. I actually really like this. I can see myself playing this a bit more. No idea if there's any, it doesn't say there's any plans for co-op or anything like that. Um, I don't think there's like a roadmap that I could see. I'm trying to just look on the Steam page and just see. Because this would be quite cool as well, but... Yeah, it does look like you'll be able to like have weapons and stuff like that as well. But basically, yeah, you just explore all the different environments. Your base comes around with you. You can build up your train. We'll unlock other carriages and stuff as we go. Really impressive. Much more deeper than I thought. And like I said, I think I think the name's not going to necessarily help it. Um, for those of you who clicked on the video and were like, well, the hell's heat death? That was probably my fault as well. Um, so... Yeah, like I said, wouldn't be surprised to see a change in name, probably, maybe. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to save this. And, yeah, like I said, I mean, how long have we been... This is about, yeah, almost an hour of um, of game time on the demo. Might even be able to go further. But I'm going to leave there because I'm just conscious of time. Uh, in our full kind of Let's Play episodes, we will do like, you know, one and a half to two hour episodes. But this is more of just a preview. So I want to try and keep this under an hour. Again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.